spoznati drug drugega. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn how to introduce yourself and how to get to know another person. This will be a long video, so before we begin, I would like to outline the topics for you and also tell you that these topics will be linked to timestamps, which you can find in the description box. So, hopefully it will be easier for you to follow the video. The topics that we will cover today are Name Surname Gender Date of birth Age Place of birth Address Phone number Email address Social media Symbols Signature Relationship status And finally at the end we will do a short exercise. Let's get into the video. Ime. If we use tikanye, we ask Kako ti je ime? Kako ti je ime? If we use vikanye, we ask Kako vam je ime? Kako vam je ime? And then we can reply Ime mi je Ime mi je Or Moje ime je Moje ime yeah. For example, Ime mia Anna. Moje ime je Luca. Alternatively, we can also ask Ali mi lahko poveš tvoje ime. Ali mi lahko poveš tvoje ime. Or Ali mi poveš tvoje ime. Ali mi poveš tvoje ime. Or a mi poveš tvoje ime. Ali is a question word. You can say either Ali or a. So you can say a mi poveš tvoje ime. Next up, we can ask A mi poveš kako ti je ime? A mi poveš kako ti je ime? Or Prosim povej mi tvoje ime. Prosim povej mi tvoje ime. If we use vikanje, we can ask a mi lahko poveste vaše ime? A mi lahko poveste vaše ime? Or A mi poveste vaše ime? A mi poveste vaše ime? Or A mi poveste kako vam je ime? A mi poveste kako vam je ime? Or Prosim, povejte mi vaše ime. Prosim, povejte mi vaše ime. And then we can reply. Ja, ime mi je. Ja, ime mi je. Or, ja, moje ime je. Ja, moje ime je. Or simply, ime mi je, or moje ime je. Povedati. Jaz povem. 
povej, povejte, ali or a. Pri imek, if we use tikanje, we ask, kako se pišeš, kako se pišeš. If we use vikanje, we ask, kako se pišete, kako se pišete. And then we can reply, pišem se, pišem se. Or, moj primek je. Moj primek je. Next up, we have the kliški primek. We can ask, kakšen je tvoj te kliški primek? If we use vikanje, we ask, kakšen je vaš te kliški primek? And then, we can reply Moj de kliški primek je Pri imek obrojstvu If we use tikanje we ask Kakšen je bil tvoj primek obrojstvu If we use vikanje we ask Kakšen je bil vaš primek obrojstvu? And then we can reply. Moj primek obrojstvu je bil. Spol When it comes to gender, I listed different options. Moški spol Ženski spol Nebinarna oseba Drugo Ne želim odgovoriti And then we have Moški Ženska Fant Punca Ali dekle If we use tikanje we can ask, katerega spola si? Katerega spola si? If we use vikanje, we can ask, katerega spola ste? Katerega spola ste? To reply, we can choose between different options. We can say Sem moškega spola Sem moškega spola or Sem ženskega spola Sem ženskega spola or we can say Sem moški Sem ženska Sem fant Sem punca or sem nebinarna oseba sem nebinarna oseba I would like to add a word on personal pronouns for non-binary persons As we know the personal pronoun for non-binary persons in English is they which would be oni in Slovenian However, in Slovenian, the use of the pronoun ANI is more problematic. And that is because of an archaic concept of ONIKANJE. We already discussed TIKANJE and VIKANJE. And there used to be a third way, ONIKANJE, where the pronoun ANI was used in order to refer to one person, either male or female. 
such use of the pronoun was a sign of great respect. Unikanya, however, is no longer in use. Let's look at examples of unikanje. Mama so rekli da naj pripravim kosilo. Without unikanje, this sentence would be Mama je rekla da naj pripravim kosilo. Secondly, oče so delali na polju. Without unikanje, this sentence would be Oče je delal na polju. So, which pronoun for non-binary persons should we use in Slovenian language? I read an article where a non-binary person said they alternate between the use of pronouns ona, which is she, and on, which is he. So, that may be one option. Datum rojstva Biti rojen Biti rojena Roditi se Roditi Leto rojstva If we use tikanje, if we're asking a man, we say Kdaj si rojen? Kdaj si rojen? If we're asking a woman, we say Kdaj si rojena? Kdaj si rojena? If we use vikanje, we ask Kdaj ste rojeni? Kdaj ste rojeni? You can then reply, rojensem, if you are a man, or rojenasem, if you are a woman. Secondly, if we use tikanje and we're asking a man, we can say, kdaj si se rodil? Kdaj si se rodil? If we're asking a woman, we can say Kdaj si se rodila? Kdaj si se rodila? If we use vikanje, we ask Kdaj ste se rodili? Kdaj ste se rodili? If you're a man, you can reply Rodil sem se Rodil sem se. If you're a woman, you can reply Rodila sem se. Rodila sem se. The third way of asking someone about the date of their birth is to say A mi poveš datum rojstva. A mi poveš datum rojstva. Or, if we use vikanje, a mi poveste datum rojstva. A mi poveste datum rojstva. And then we can reply, moj datum rojstva je. Moj datum rojstva je. Or, you can use any one of the two options above. Now, let's look at how we can express the date. To express the date, we use ordinal numbers. I already created a lesson on ordinal numbers and I will leave the link in the description box below. Because the words for months are of masculine gender, we use the masculine form of ordinal numbers. For example, the 1st of January in Slovenian language is Prvi Januar. The question word is Kateri. Kateri. 
which means which one. When we ask on what date something happened or will happen, we can use the question word gdai, gdai, which means when, or katirega, katirega, which is the word katiri in the second case. Let's read through these numbers together. Prvi, prvega, drugi, drugega, treti, tretiega, četrti, četrtega, peti, petega, šesti, šestega, sedmi, sedmega, osmi, osmega, deveti, devetega, deseti, desetega, enaisti, enaistega, dvanaisti, dvanaistega, trinaisti, trinaistega, štirinaisti, štirinaistega, petnaisti, petnaistega, šestnaisti, šestnaistega, sedemnaisti, sedemnaistega, osemnaisti, osemnaistega, devetnaisti, devetnaistega, dvajseti, dvajsetega, enaindvajseti, enaindvajsetega, dvajindvajseti, dvajindvajsetega, triindvajseti, triindvajsetega, štirindvajseti, štirindvajsetega, petindvajseti, petindvajsetega, šestindvajseti, šestindvajsetega, sedemindvajseti, sedemindvajsetega, osemindvajseti, osemindvajsetega, devetindvajseti, devetindvajsetega, trideseti, tridesetega, ena in trideseti, ena in tridesetega. Meseci On the left hand side we have the names of the months and on the right hand side we have the client names of the months which we use as an answer to the question when. Januar Januaria Februar Februaria Marec Marca April Aprila Mai Maya Juni Junia Juli Julia August Augusta September Septembra Oktober Oktobra November Novembra December Decembra Mesec Dan Let's look at some examples of dates. We can express the months either with their names or with ordinal numbers. Pause this video if you want to and try to fill in the missing parts. Prvi Januar Ali Prvi Prvi Gdaj Prvega Januarja Ali Prvega Prvega Okay, so let's read through examples. Treti December Treti Dvanaisti Tretiega 
decembra, tretjega dvanaestega, osamnaesti juli, osamnaesti sedmi, osamnaestega julija, osamnaestega sedmega, četrti august, četrti osmi, četrtega augusta, četrtega osmega, ena in dvajseti juni, ena in dvajseti šesti, ena in dvajsetega junija, ena in dvajsetega šestega, drugi november, drugi enajsti, drugega novembra, drugega enajstega, štirinajsti februar, štirinajsti drugi, štirinajstega februarja, štirinajstega drugega, sedemindvajseti april, sedemindvajseti četrti, sedemindvajsetega aprila, sedemindvajsetega četrtega, osamnaesti marec, osamnaesti treti, osamnaestega marca, osamnaestega tretjega, prvi oktober, prvi deseti, prvega oktobra, prvega desetega. Next up we have letnica. Leto and letnica both mean year in English. We can say either leto rojstva or letnica rojstva, which means year of birth. However, leto has a wider meaning than letnica. Letnica refers specifically to a number, for example, 2023, whereas we can use the word leto to say leto 2023, year 2023, or eno leto nazai, one year ago, or starje pet let, he is five years old. Let's look at examples. On the left hand side we have year numbers. Tisoč devetsto šestin sedemdeset. Tisoč devetsto štirin osemdeset. Tisoč devetsto ena in devedeset. Dva tisoč ena. Dva tisoč on the right hand side we have the answer to the question when, kdaj, or which year, katerega leta. One way is to simply put the word leta in front of the number. So we say leta 1976. Leta 1984, leta 1991, and so on. Another way is to use ordinal numbers. Remember that ordinal numbers are written as one word. So we can say 1976. Tisoč devetsto štirin osemdesetega. Tisoč devetsto ena in devedesetega. Dva tisoč prvega. Dva tisoč tri in dvajsetega. Here I included additional ways of asking someone about their date of birth or their age. First, if you use tikanje, you can ask Katerega 
ne siroyan or katirega ne siroyana or simply katirega siroyan or katirega siroyana and if you use vikanye you can ask katirega ne steroyani or simply katirega steroyani which literally means what day are you born on if you use the word dan which is day in the question you can answer the question with the name of the day like monday tuesday and so on however this question is more so about the date of birth so if someone asks you katirega si royan you can then reply royansem if you're a man or royanasem if you're a woman and add the date of your birth next up we have rojstni dan which means birthday if you use tikanje you can ask kdai imaš rojstni dan kdai imaš rojstni dan and if you use vikanje you can ask kdai imate rojstni dan Kdai mate rojstni dan which means when do you have birthday and then you can reply rojstni dan imam rojstni dan imam moving on we have the word generacija which means generation If you use tikanje, you can ask Katira generacija si? Katira generacija si? And if you use vikanje, you can ask Katira generacija ste? Katira generacija ste? And then you can reply sem generacija and add the year of birth for example sem generacija 1995 another way of asking about age is to use the word letnik so in addition to words leto and letnica This is the third word that is translated into English as year. If you use tikanje, you can ask Kateri letnik si? Kateri letnik si? And if you use vikanje, you can ask Kateri letnik ste? Kateri letnik ste? These two questions can be used either for a man or for a woman. You can then reply Sem letnik and add your year of birth. For example, Sem letnik dva tisoč. Next up, we have an equivalent of this question which can be used only for women if you use tikanje you can ask katera letnica si katera letnica si and if you use vikanje you can ask katera letnica ste katera letnica ste And then you reply sem letnica and add your year of birth. For example, sem letnica 
1965. Next category is age. Starost. If you use tikanje, you can ask koliko si star or koliko si stara. If you use vikanje, you can ask koliko ste stari. And then you reply star sem if you're a man or stara sem if you're a woman. Then you add a number and if the number is five or above you add let which means years. For example stara sem petnaist let or you can simply say sem petnaist I'm 15 or you can say just a number for example petnaist 15. Let's look at the words for day, week, month and year and how to use them in combination with numbers when we ask a question about age. So when we ask a question koliko. First up we have dan. En dan. Dva dni. Tri dni. Štiri dni. Pet dni. Šest dni. And so on. Next up we have teden. En teden. Dva tedna. Tri tedne. Štiri tedne. Pet tedno. Šest did know and so on. Next up we have mesets N mesets Dva mesetsa Tri mesetsa Štiri mesetsa Pet mesetsa Šest mesetsa Then we have leto Eno leto, dve leti, tri leta, štiri leta, pet let, šest let. Last but not least, I included the word po, which means health. When we use the word po, the noun that follows has to be in the second case. And we say, for example, po mesetsa, po leta. Or if we have a whole number and a half, we say, for example, dva mesetsa in po, pet let in po. So first we say a whole number and then we add po at the end. Let's look at different ways in which we can express someone's age. Stara sem petnaist let. I am 15 years old. For a female you say stara. For a male you say star. Here you could also say stara sem petnaist and skip let at the end or simply sem petnaist. I am 15. Let's look at some more examples. Dojenček je star eno leto in po. Luka Je tri in tridaset. 
alternatively, you could also say Luca jich ima tri in trideset, meaning Luca has them thirty three. Jich is a shorter version of nich, which means them, and which refers to years in our example. Last but not least, Anita je stara tri leta in pet mesecev. Let's look at how we can turn age or duration into adjective. The general logic is that we first put a number and here we have to mention two exceptions. In the case of number one, Anna, we have to say Anno. And in the case of number two, Dve, you can say either Dve or Dvo. In the case of years, after a number, we add Let and then suffix Ni for masculine gender, suffix na for feminine gender, and suffix no for neuter gender. I will read through the examples. Petna sletni fant. Petna sletna punza. Petna sletno decle. The setin po letni fant. The setting poletna punza. The setting poletno de cle. Stiri de setletni gospot. Stiri de setletna gospa. Stiri de setletno vino. In the case of months, first we put a number, then message. Then suffix ni for masculine gender, suffix na for feminine gender, and suffix no for neuter gender. Let's look at examples. Pet mesečni fantek. Pet mesečna punčka. Pet mesečno potovanje. In the case of weeks, first we put a number, then teden, then suffix ski for masculine gender, suffix ska for feminine gender, and suffix sko for neuter gender. Let's look at examples. Štiri tedenski izlet. Štiri tedenska Excursia. Štiri tedensko potovanje. In the case of days, we first put a number, then dnev, then suffix ni for masculine gender, suffix na for feminine gender, and suffix no for neuter gender. Let's look at examples. Tri dnevni izlet. Tridnevna excursia. Tridnevno potovanje. In the case of hours, we first put a number, then ur, then suffix ni for masculine gender, suffix na for feminine gender, and suffix no for neuter gender. Let's look at examples. Eno urni sestanek. Eno urna zamuda. Eno urno srečanje. Kraj rojstva. If you use tikanje, you can ask Kje si rojen? Kje si rojen? If you're asking a man. Or Kje si rojena? Kje si rojena, if you're asking a woman. 
If you used vikanie, you can ask Kie steroyani? Kie steroyani? Please note that these questions are in the present tense. And then you can reply Royan sem if you're a man or Royana sem if you're a woman. V or na. We will take a look at prepositions in a moment. Another option is to ask Kie si se rodiu? Kie si se rodiu? Or Kie si se rodila? Kie si se rodila? If you use Vikanie, you can ask Kie ste se rodili? Kie ste se rodili? These questions are in the past tense. And then you can reply Rodiusem se if you're a man or Rodilasem se if you're a woman. V or na. Let's look at some names of countries and towns. First, we have masculine gender. One example is Egypt, which is Egypt. When we ask where, we use the fifth case, also known as Mestnik. We say V Egyptu. So we add letter U at the end. Similarly, we have the name Kran which is a town in Slovenia. When we ask where, we say v kraniu. v kraniu. Let's look at examples for feminine gender. We have an example of Austria, which is Austria. When we ask where, we reply V Austri V Austri Then we have Ljubljana which is the capital of Slovenia When we ask where we reply V Ljubljani V Ljubljani So in the case of feminine gender the last letter changes into letter I Last we have neuter gender. I actually couldn't come up with the name of the country which would be of neuter gender, so I used the word for city instead. We have the word mesto, and when we ask where, we reply v mestu, v mestu. So the last letter changes to letter u. Then we have Celje, which is a town in Slovenia. When we ask where, we say Vcelju. Vcelju. As you may notice, in all of these examples, we use the preposition V, which means in. Let's look at some examples where we use the preposition Na which means on. Na is often used for islands and peninsulas, but not necessarily. Let me read through our examples. Islandia Na Islandii Malta Na Malti Norveška Na Norveškem Švédska na švédském, Finska na finském, Maďarska na maďarském, Kitajska na kitajském, Japonska 
na japonskem. Na slow. If you use tikanje, you can ask. Kakšen je tvoj na slow? Kakšen je tvoj na slow? Or you can also ask. A mi poveš na slow? A mi poveš na slow? If you use vikanje, you can ask. Kakšen je vaš na slow? Kakšen je vaš na slow? Or you can also ask. A mi poveste na slow? A mi poveste na slow? And then you can reply. Moj na slow je. Moj na slow je. When it comes to address, it's important that you also know the following words. Ulica Hishna Stevilka Poshtna Stevilka Kraj Mesto Ulice Primeri Here I included some examples of street names in Slovenia. Dunajska cesta Vienes road Slovenska cesta Slovenian road Cesta na Rožnik Road to Rožnik Rožnik is the name of the hill Ameriška ulica American street Sankarjeva ulica Sankar's street After writer Ivan Sankar Adamičeva ulica Street of Adamić After composer Bojan Adamić Kongresni Trg, Congress Square, Leustico Trg, Leustic Square. After writer Fran Leustic, Gorni Trg, Upper Square, Novakova Pot, Novak's Pad. Below we have words one can often find in street names. Cesta Ulica Trg Pot And finally, I included Dunaj, which is Slovenian name for Vienna. Zapisovanje na slova Let's look at how we write address in Slovenian language. First, we write the name of the street and street number, followed by the postal code and the name of the town. Let's look at some examples. Dunajska cesta 2, Tisoc, Ljubljana. Sankarjeva ulica 15, 2000 Maribor Kajuhova 49, 3000 Celje Titov trg 33, 3320 Velenje Poštne Stevilke. This is a map of Slovenia divided into regions according to postal codes. Within a given region, the postal code of any town starts with the number of that area. For example, 1, 2, 3 and so on, followed by three more digits. 
On the right hand side we have the names of the cities which are the biggest in their respective regions together with their postal codes. Ljubljana Tisoc, Maribor Dva Tisoc, Celje Tri Tisoc, Hran Štiri Tisoc, Nova Gorica Pet Tisoc, Koper Šest Tisoc, Novo Mesto Osem Tisoc, Murska Sobota Devet Tisoc, Knowing this can help you to identify approximate locations of towns based on their postal codes. Next up we have Stalno Prebivališče and Začasno Prebivališče, which mean permanent residence and temporary residence. You can say either Prebivališče or Bivališče. Let's look at the questions. If you use Tikanje, you can ask any of the following questions. Kakšen je naslov tvojega stalnega prebivališča? Kakšen je naslov tvojega začasnega prebivališča. Kje imaš stalno prebivališče? Kje imaš začasno prebivališče? If you use vikanje, you can ask any of the following questions. Kakšen je naslov vašega stalnega prebivališča. Kakšen je naslov vašega začasnega prebivališča. Kje imate stalno prebivališče? Kje imate začasno prebivališče? And then you can reply. Naslov mojega stalnega prebivališča je. Or naslov mojega začasnega prebivališča je. Or stalno prebivališče imam v ali na. Moje stalno prebivališče je v ali na. Začasno prebivališče imam v ali na. Moje začasno prebivališče je v ali na. For example, stalno prebivališče imam v Ljubljani. Moje začasno prebivališče je na Japonskem. Let's look at some further questions. A imaš stalno prebivališče v Sloveniji? A imate stalno prebivališče v Sloveniji? Or, a je tvoje stalno prebivališče v Sloveniji? A je vaše stalno prebivališče v Sloveniji? Of course, you can replace stalno with začasno and ask the same questions. And then you can reply simply with ja or da, which means yes, or ne, which means no. Telefonska številka. Let's read through the words on the left hand side. Telefonska številka. Stacionarni. Telefon. 
мобилни телефон мобител ГСМ Штевилка стационарнега телефона Штевилка мобилнега телефона Штевилка мобителла Штевилка ГСМа If you use Tikanje, you can ask. Kakšna je tvoja telefonska številka? Kakšna je tvoja telefonska številka? Or, a mi daš telefonsko številko? A mi daš telefonsko številko? Or, a mi poveš telefonsko številko? A mi poveš telefonsko številko? Of course, it is always nice if you can add the word prosim, which means please. So, for example, a mi prosim poveš telefonsko številko? Or, a mi daš telefonsko številko prosim? If you use vikanje, you can ask Kakšna je vaša telefonska številka? Kakšna je vaša telefonska številka? Or A mi daste telefonsko številko? A mi daste telefonsko številko? Or A mi poveste telefonsko številko? A mi poveste telefonsko številko? And then you can reply. Moja telefonska številka je. Moja telefonska številka je. Telefonske številke. Mednarodna klicna koda Slovenije je plus 386. The international phone code of Slovenia is plus 386. Telefonske kode regi. Here we have a map of regional phone codes for landline numbers. 01 is for Ljubljana. 02 is for Maribor. 03 is for Celje. 04 is for Kran. 05 is for Nova Gorica. And 07 is for Novo Mesto. Take a moment and try to complete this exercise. And here are the answers. Next up we have Klitz Vasili. Klitz Vasili, which literally means a call in emergency. Ena, ena dve je številka za gasilce in reševalce. One, one, two is a number for firefighters and paramedics. Ena, ena, tri je številka za policijo. One, one, three is a number for police. Mobilne telefonske številke. Primeri. Let's look at some examples of mobile phone numbers. You can read the numbers separately or join them by tens or hundreds. Let's read through them. Nič štiri ena dvesto šestin pedeset devetsto štiri in osemdeset or nič štiri ena dve 
pet, šest, devet, osem, štiri. Second, nič, tri, ena, štiristo, ena in devedeset, sedemsto, dva in šestdeset. Or, nič, tri, ena, štiri, devet, ena, sedem, šest, dve. Third, nič, pet, ena, štiristo, dvajset, tri in osemdeset. Or, nič, pet, ena, štiri, dve, nič, nič, osem, tri. Fourth, nič, sedem, nič, sto, dvajn, trideset, petsto, ena in osemdeset. Or, nič, sedem, nič, ena, tri, dve, pet, osem, ena. Fifth, nič, tri, nič, 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 štiri, devetsto, šest in pedeset. Or, nič, tri, nič, 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 štiri, devet, pet, šest. Elektronski naslov If you use tikanje, you can ask Kakšen je tvoj elektronski naslov? Kakšen je tvoj elektronski naslov? Or A mi daš elektronski naslov? A mi daš elektronski naslov? naslov or a mi poveš elektronski naslov a mi poveš elektronski naslov If you use vikanje you can ask kakšen je vaš elektronski naslov kakšen je vaš elektronski naslov Or, a mi daste elektronski naslov? A mi daste elektronski naslov? Or, a mi poveste elektronski naslov? A mi poveste elektronski naslov? And then you can reply. Moj elektronski naslov je... Moj elektronski naslov je. Or, moj email je. Or, moj email naslov je. Or, moj mail naslov je. Or, you can skip the word naslov and simply say, moj email je. Or, moj mail je. When it comes to social media profiles, you can ask Kakšno je tvoje ime na Facebooku? Kakšno je tvoje ime na Instagramu? Kakšno je tvoje ime na TikToku? Or, A me lahko prosim, da daš na Facebooku? A me lahko prosim, da daš na Instagramu? A me lahko prosim, da daš na TikToku? Or, a te lahko prosim, da dam na Facebooku? A te lahko prosim, da dam na Instagramu? A te lahko prosim, da dam na TikToku? If you use vikanje, you can ask Kakšno je vaše ime na Facebooku? Kakšno je vaše ime na Instagramu? Kakšno je vaše ime na TikToku? Or, a me lahko prosim, da date na Facebooku? 
a me lahko prosim dodate na Instagramu. A me lahko prosim dodate na TikToku. Or a vas lahko prosim dodam na Facebooku. A vas lahko prosim dodam na Instagramu. A vas lahko prosim dodam na TikToku. If you want to search for someone on the basis of their profile picture, the words are Profilna slika Profilna slika For example, you could ask Kaj je na tvoji profilni sliki? If you use tikanje Or Kaj je na vaši profilni Sliki, if you use vikanje. Which means, what's in your profile photo? Next up, we have punctuation marks and other symbols which are important to know. Let's read through them. Afna Pika Vejica Uprašaj Klicaj, pomišljaj, vezaj, podčrtaj, črta spodaj ali črtica spodaj. Oklepaj, zaklepaj, narekovaj ali navednica, zvezdica. Poševnica, presledek, dvopičje, podpičje, v narekovajih ali v navednicah. Let's read these email addresses. Tina Pika Novak Afna gmail.com Miha podcertaj kovac Afna hotmail.com Or you could also say Miha črta spodaj kovac Afna hotmail.com Maja Pika je raj dve, afna, lj, pomišljaj, uni, pika, si. Then we have geslo, geslo, which means password. Let's read through examples. Stop, klicaj. Auto, počrtaj, bus, poševnica, ena in pedeset. V, presledek, rtnica, zvezdica, ena in trideset, vprašaj. Oklepaj, sedem. Zaklepaj, narekovaj, pravlic, narekovaj. Podpis If there is a document to sign, you could say Tvoj podpis prosim. Tvoj podpis prosim. If you use tikanje. Or, vaš podpis prosim. Vaš podpis prosim. If you use vikanje. Or, ali se lahko prosim podpišeš. Ali se lahko prosim podpišeš. Or, ali se lahko prosim podpišete. Ali se lahko prosim, podpišete. 
Potpisati se means to sign oneself. Potpisam se means I sign myself. Potpisati means to sign. Jas potpisam means I sign. There is not much difference between the two of them in terms of their meaning, but there is a difference in terms of how one uses them. If we use potpisati instead of potpisati se, for example, you could say Ali lahko prosim potpisaš dokument. Ali lahko prosim potpisaš dokument. Or Ali lahko prosim potpisate dokument. Ali lahko prosim potpisate dokument. The last category we will cover in this video is stan, which means relationship status. I already covered this topic in the video on family and I will leave the link to that video in the description box. So I will be a little bit more brief this time around. On the left hand side we have different options when it comes to a relationship status. So if you are filling out a document for example, there might be a category STAN with those options listed. Because the word STAN is of masculine gender, the adjectives have to be masculine as well. We have different options, for example, Samski, Vrazmerju, Ali, Vzvezi, Zaročen, Poročen, Ločen, Ovdoveu. If you want to refer specifically to a person, be it male or female, you can use the same adjectives as we just read for a man. And for a woman, it would be Samska, Zaročena, Poročena, Ločena, Obdovela. If you use Tikanje, you can ask Kakšen je tvoj stan? Kakšen je tvoj stan? And if you use vikanje, you can ask Kakšen je vaš stan? Kakšen je vaš stan? And then, if you're a man, you can reply Sem samski, sem v razmerju, sem zaročen, sem poročen, sem ločen, sem ovdovil. If you're a woman, you have to change adjectives and say Sem samska, sem v razmerju, sem zaročena, sem poročena, sem ločena, sem ovdovila. Further, you can ask a person about their status more specifically, namely Asi samski? Asi samska, asi u razmerju, asi u zvezi, asi zaročen, asi zaročena, asi poročen, asi poročena, asi ločen, asi ločena, asi odovel, asi odovela. Or, if you use vikanje, aste samski, Aste v razmerju, aste zaročeni, aste poročeni, aste ločeni, aste ovdoveli. And then you can reply, ja sem, or ne nisem. Or if someone asks, asi poročen, one can reply, more specifically, for example, ne, 
nisem poročen, ampak sem zaročen. Or ne nisem, sem zaročen. Vaja. Before we conclude our lesson, let's do a short exercise together. We have to read the text and copy the information from the text under appropriate categories. Ispiši podatke iz besedila. Živjo, ja sem Jure. Pišem se Zupančič. Star sem 18 let. Moj naslov je Aškrčeva ulica 49.000 Ljubljana. Moja telefonska številka je 031-159-229. Moj elektronski naslov je Jure Pika Zupancic. Afna siol pika net. So, pause this video if you must and try to write the answers by yourself. And here are the solutions. If you've come to the end of this video, congratulations! I know it's a really long one. And I hope that the timestamps can help you navigate through the content with more ease. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care.